okay so in last uh, slide we have seen that are in natural resolving agent so now we will uh, uh, see now what are the methods to convert uh, uh, the pressure into the uh, individual isomers okay. so enantiomers so as we know enantiomers have same uh, physical as well as uh, chemical properties that's why we cannot resolve them from each other but Diester isomers have different physical as well as chemical properties. So, uh, with the help of uh, these uh, outstanding uh, properties of diester isomers, we can resolve them from the racemate to the individual diester isomers. Okay, so uh, as we cannot separate enantiomers, but we can convert enantiomers to the diester isomers and then we can resolve them from each other. Okay, so this is this uh, technique we can utilize for the resolution so now how we can do this one so resolution through formation of diastereomers okay resolution through formation of diastereomers so i said that uh, in enantiomers we can convert into the diastereomers okay so here i have given a diagrammatic representation that how enantiomers we can convert to the diastereomers so here i have shown uh, first, I have taken enantiomers. Okay, so here uh, what we have taken, where what we have take uh, that means we have to take uh, racemic mixture. So here I have take racemic mixture. S A represents the racemic mixture. A means racemic mixture. The number of uh, the the name of the compound A. So A present uh, S in S configuration as well as in R configuration. Okay, so this is a compound present as a racemic mixture. So a, a compound is racemic mixture, and these are the enantiomers. Okay, but as these are enantiomers, they we cannot separate them directly. Okay, so here I have written everything. So initially I have taken uh, racemic mixture. Okay, this racemic mixtures having uh, R or R and S in 50-50 percent okay so 50 50 uh, ratio we have both s as well as r configuration of a compound and that one is enantiomers so now i will convert this enantiomers because these two have same uh, physical as well as chemical properties so we cannot separate them from each other okay so what i will do i will convert them in i will convert enantiomer to diastereomer so how we how i can convert them so i will add resolving agent chiral resolving agent okay here i have written b means resolving agent and a means racemic compound to be resolved okay so racemic compound we are going to resolve that that is nothing but a compound and b is resolving it so here i have used b as a resolving agent but that one is chiral okay so what only one configuration only one form s configuration of resolving agent i have used over here okay so s configuration of resolving agent i have added that is chiral so what this s configuration of this resolving agent it will, he will do so this s configuration of resolving agent will form complex with both this s configuration of enantiomer of racemic mixture as well as r configuration of a compound okay so here we will get two different combinations now this s will bind with this s isomer and this s bind with this r isomer okay so we got here s s a compound and b compound okay so we got a uh, complex formation of a compound and b compound so we got s s s s combination of a and b over here and we got r s configuration of a and b or complex of r and s configuration of a and b compound over here so here we got now diester isomers okay now these enantiomers they got converted into diester isomers after complexion with they do form complex with this b resolving agent then only we can call it they form diester isomers and as we know diester isomers they have different physical as well as chemical properties so we can separate them from each other now
okay still they are uh, in mixture okay so still this one is mixture but they do form complex with this chiral dissolving agent and uh, definitely they are different uh, at least some extent at least to some extent they are different from each other in their physical properties okay so we do take advantages of this uh, difference in physical properties and we are going to separate them okay by crystallization method or any method okay there are different different methods so we will see on next slide what are those methods first just we will cover this one or we will understand this one how to do how to transform enantiomers racemic mixture of enantiomers which we cannot separate directly so we do transfer enantiomers racemic mixture of enantiomers into the uh, diester isomer okay so we do complex with this enantiomer we do uh, to form complex with chiral resolving agent and this chiral resolving agent form complexes with two uh, two forms of enantiomer and we got here two diester isomers so ss uh, ss complex of a and b compound that have different physical properties and rs complex rs complex of a and b compound that must have different physical properties so we can separate them so here we have separated them okay ss ab we got separate and rs ab form we got separate now uh, this uh, Chiral resolving agent. This we can uh, recycle or recover at the end. So here we have taken out this chiral resolving agent SB. We have taken out now only uh, form uh, present here or remains here. S A compound has uh, remains here at the end of the uh, reaction or that process. And here R S A B complex. Out of this complex, we taken out. We have taken out. Chiral resolving agent SB taken out SB and now we got over in that mixture we have only RA as a uh, configuration or in a or we can say diester isomer. Okay, so here we have separated SA separately and RA we got separated in the in this via the diester isomeric formation. Okay, this is the simple method of the separation. Why are diester isomers? Okay, so now here one more uh, slide I have prepared how to separate them. How the what is the resolution scheme? Here you will get clear cut idea again about the separation uh, from uh, enantiomer to diester isomers. Okay, so enantiomers have identical physical properties, and if we want to distinguish between them or separate enantiomers, the enantiomeric relationship must be converted to the diester isomeric one. Okay. So again, we are going to convert enantiomers into the diester isomer. So here again, I have dropped one more resolution scheme. Here we have taken in uh, inseparable mixture of enantiomer A A compound. Okay, A compound racemic mixture of A compound plus and minus form of the A compound we have taken enantiomer racemic mixture plus we are going to treat this racemic mixture with chiral reagent. Okay. We have taken here B as a chiral reagent, but only plus form of B we have used as a chiral reagent. Okay, so now this B plus B form of chiral reagent is going to form complex with this A form of uh, enantiomer as well as uh, plus form of enantiomer and minus form of enantiomer A enantiomer. Okay, so now we are going to make complex formation that is we are going to join each other so this b chiral reagent it, it that one is form complex with this plus and minus both so we got here uh, plus plus b is common in both of this one okay plus b is common now plus b is getting uh, form uh, is uh, getting form getting a complex session with plus form of a so here plus form of a and now in second uh, uh, in second compartment we can uh, this b uh, chiral resolving agent it forms complex with uh, minus a compound okay so here we got a different uh, complex formation of uh, that means we got here diastereomers okay diastereomers we got over here now we want to separate them okay as they do have different physical properties so we can separate them maybe by crystallization or, or any any other method so we got over here now we want to extract only this form 
okay crystallization or any method so we uh, after one after by treating this complex with one any other any any one of the method we can get only one single diester isomer at the end of the mixture remaining will uh, remaining this complex will remain in solution form or any other form okay so we got here as this one as a product plus a and plus b uh, this complex we got now here what we can do now from this one we can recycle this our resolving agent plus b so plus b here we got separated from this diester isomer so at the end we got only plus a single enantiomer okay so in this way here in the red red box i have dropped that plus a form we got recovered at the end with the help of chiral resolving agent okay so this is the beauty of this uh, resolving agent and uh, on which basis we can do all this things, okay the joint separate and split process do not only have to be efficient but must also be chemically suitable diastereomeric systems resulting from any type of interaction between a and b might be useful including so now what type of interactions uh, they are present here ionic bonds we can form covalent bond we can form with chiral reagent okay so what is the relationship between uh, this enantiomer racemic enantiomer and this chiral resolving agent so this 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 formation of diastereomers could be we can form on the basis of ionic bond formation covalent bond formation or we co weak coordinate bonds hydrogen bonds dipole apollo interaction pi pi interaction etc okay so this formation of this complex diastereomers complex formation uh, is based on this type of different reactions in between chiral resolving agent as well as our uh, uh, resolving uh, resolving mixture or racemic racemic mixture okay so this type of uh, things they are included in the separation okay so resolution of racemic acid acids now we uh, we are going to see the next point resolution of the racemic acids we will see how to resolve them on the basis of this diester 